Hello students, welcome to part 2 of chapter number 1, Computer System Overview. In the first part of chapter 1, we studied about computer hardware, software, basic computer organization and three components of computer that is input unit, output unit and CPU. Let us continue with the other components of a computer. In this session, we are going to learn about memory unit and about system bus. Let's start with memory unit. Computer memory unit is an essential part of the computer. It works like our brain. Our brain helps us to store, in, store and retrieve information whenever we want it, right? Uh, like that, our computer stores data and information inside the memory and retrieves it. So what is the function of memory unit? Memory unit stores data and information in inside the memory location and each memory location has memory address. Look at the picture here in this picture address is shown as 1, 2, 3 like that. Our brain stores information in brain cells, right? Like that, computer stores information in cells. And these cells are further broken down into smaller parts. They are known as bits. Let's learn units of computer memory measurements. In this, we start with a bit. A bit is an elementary unit of the memory. A bit means a binary digit, that is either 0 or 1. A number of uh, bits together are used to store instruction data instruction by their combination. And 8 bits together form 1 byte and 1024 bytes together form 1 kilobyte, 1024 kilobytes form 1 megabyte, 1024 megabytes form 1 gigabyte like that um, 1024 gigabyte forms 1 terabyte, 1024 terabyte forms 1 petabyte and um, 1024 petabyte um, forms uh, 1 exabyte and uh, 1024 exabyte forms 1 zettabyte. Computer memory has two kinds of memory basically that is primary memory and secondary memory. Let us learn one by one. First we learn about the main memory. Main memory or the primary memory is the memory to which the CPU has the immediate or direct access. It means that CPU directly can access this memory. It comprises of two parts. They are random access memory and read only memory. So um, let's see what is random access memory. Um, as the name says it access randomly. Actually, the memory is a collection of cells and it contains data. These data can be accessed randomly or directly. Every cell has an address like your house has an address and it is unique, right? That is, it is different from one another. So, same is the case here also. All the cells of the memory has different address. Let's suppose the data is stored at the location 2000 so that what will happen with the random access memory directly the control will go to the address 2000 and accesses the data it will not move sequentially like one two three so in ram the data is accessed randomly and what is the next one what is stored in ram all the programs anything that is to be executed let's suppose we want to work on ms word we open that program that means what happens from the hard disk the program is copied to RAM then only we can work on it. The main drawback of uh, RAM memory is that means random access memory is that it is a volatile memory that is when the power goes off the contents of RAM gets erased and the RAM chips in a computer can be of two basic types that is dynamic random access memory and the second one is static random access memory.
random access memory is of two basic types they are dynamic random access memory and static random access memory let's see what it is dynamic random access memory these are made up of transistors and capacitors and um, it needs to be refreshed after every few mill milliseconds and it has high power consumption and it is cheaper it can store large amount of data in it and the second type of random access memory is static random access memory these are made up of flip flops and many transistors here flip flop is a binary cell capable of storing one bit of information and static ram does not require refreshing of data so it has low power consumption and it is expensive compared to dynamic ram it is very expensive and it can store less amount of data in it second type of primary memory is read only memory as the name implies a yeah, read only memory is a memory unit that performs the read operation only it does not have a write capability and it contains pre written instructions by manufacturers and cannot be altered by writing different words into it hence it is a non volatile whereas a random access memory is a general purpose device whose contents can be altered read only memories are used for applications and they are slower than random access memory read only memory it has um, various types of uh, rom the first one is programmable read only memory that means prom also called as otp one time programmable PROM is a user friendly memory user programmable memory in which information is burnt using special equipment called a ROM burner this can be written once only and we cannot erase it EPROM erasable programmable read only memory this is the second one in it can be erased using uv radiations and it can be rewritten the third one is eep rom electrically erasable programmable read only memory in this type selected data can be erased electrically but in eep rom it does the data is uh, the data can be erased using ra uv radiations fully but in eep rom selected data can be erased flash eep rom it is like eep rom but it is very fast comparatively also it erases fully and not selectively and here comes the last one that is mask read only memory once data is finalized it is masked by the manufacturer it means uh, in this kind of a rom the contents are programmed by the ic manufacturer and it is not a user programmable read only memory as i told you earlier computer has two type of two types of memory that is primary memory and the secondary memory primary memory is a temporary one it is a volatile so we cannot store data permanently so we need secondary memory to store data permanently usually the secondary memory devices are also known as storage devices let's learn about storage unit so what is storage device secondary memory device which stores data permanently that is called they are called as storage devices some most common storage devices are hard disk that is magnetic media cd rom and uh, dvds they are optical media and pen drive that is flash memory computers are used to store and read data for processing right since a primary memory has a limited storage capacity and is not permanent secondary storage devices are used to store large amount of data permanently 
let us now talk about some common storage devices first one is hard disk hard disk um, it stores information on one or more circular platters that means disk which are continually spinning these rotating disks are coated with a magnetic material and the information is recorded on the surface of rotating disk by magnetic heads as tiny magnetic spots the hard disk of today have storage capacity measured in gigabytes up to terabytes and here is the second storage device that is compact disk in short form it is called as cds compact compact disk or cds or optical media the cds are relatively cheap and have a storage capacity of up to 700 mb there are of three main types of cds they are first type is cd rom that means compact disk read only memory it is pre-written from the manufacturer's end example software second type is cdr that means compact disc recordable it is mainly used for cdr and can be written on only once and disc can be erased and the third type is cdrw compact disc rewritable it can be erased it and uh, rewritten several times by the user and here is the third storage device that is digital versatile disk in short we can see dvds it uses red laser beam to store data dvd is an optical storage device and it looks same as cd dvd also called super density disk and it can hold up to 17 gigabytes of data dvd is available in three varieties the first one is dvd rom that means dvd read only memory this is read only dvds that is once recorded initially we cannot write on it and the second type is dvd or that means dvd recordable it is similar to cdrs allows user to write on the disc once but uh, read it many times dvd or w that means dvd rewritable most writable dvd drives or dvd or w only we can erase and read many times on them and the fourth storage device is flash memory a flash drive is a small ultra portable storage device it works in a similar way to random access memory the key difference is that data is re retained in flash memory even when the power is switched off it is inexpensive and it can store up to one to two terabyte of data here is the fifth storage device that is blu-ray disc it is also known as blu-ray or bd it is an optical disc storage media format device it uses blue violet laser light to store data but dvd uh, or w and dvd ram uses red laser to read and write data blu-ray disc uses blue violet laser this allows data to be packed more tightly and stored in less space so it's possible to fit more data on the disc and blu-ray disc can store up to 128 gigabyte of data and here is the last part of that means the last component of a computer that is system bus it is um, nothing it is the electronic pathway to transfer data or instructions from one component of computer to another component and here electronic pathway contains connect connecting uh, contains connecting cables that connects the major components of a computer system 
so through system bus data and instructions are passed among the computer system components and here four types of system buses first one is data bus it is used to carry data and the second one is control bus it carries control instructions from one part to another and the third is address bus it carries memory address and the last one is input output bus connects the input output and other external devices to the system and here is a summary about um, part 2 of uh, chapter 1 in this session we have learned about a uh, basic computer organization two parts uh, that is memory unit and system bus in memory unit we studied about primary and secondary memory devices that means primary la we have studied about random access memory and read only memory and in the secondary memory devices la we have studied about hard disk c disk dvd disk flash memory and blu ray disk and the last part uh, last component of the disk la we have studied about system bus it contains a uh, four bus uh, four types of uh, buses are available here that is data bus it is used to carry data and control bus it is used to carry control instructions and the address bus carries uh, address uh, memory address and the last input output bus it connects input output and other external devices this is a small recap of our, our today's session students here we have some questions related to our topic first one is what is the function of main memory second one what is bit and what are the measuring units of memory third one what are the different types of rom fourth one name some secondary storage devices fifth one what is the difference between ram and rom sixth one what is the difference between primary and secondary memory go through the lesson and find out the answer students with this we come to the end of the session thank you students and i'll meet you in the next session until then take care and bye